And as we move into spring and people head outside, health officials are warning people to be extra careful when it comes to ticks. Yeah, the Lyme disease problem in Pennsylvania is well known, but there's another tick-borne disease that could also dramatically affect your health. Ross Gadotti asks the University of Pittsburgh researcher what we need to know. The woods of Pennsylvania are filled with all wonders of nature, with creatures great and small. And one very small one, the black leg tick, has introduced a new illness to the population, babesiosis. It's an intraerythrocytic protozoan, which means that it lives within the red blood cells of um, mammals. According to researchers, we're seeing more and more cases across the Commonwealth. For a lot of people, it's asymptomatic. Uh, so it doesn't show any symptoms, um, but it is a malaria-like pathogen. The symptoms for babesiosis include fever, chills, the sweats, loss of appetite, nausea, and fatigue. But for some, the disease can result in a lot worse. It can be deadly in people that are immune compromised. Dr. Danielle Tufts is an infectious disease researcher at the University of Pittsburgh's School of Health. She says babesiosis could be a threat in another way. This could be a, a problem when it comes to like the national blood supply, um, because if a person doesn't know that they're infected and they give blood, then somebody who gets that blood transfusion will, can now be infected. There is some very good news. It is very treatable. That is, if you can get tested. One of the issues with Babesia is that it's not reportable here in Pennsylvania, so it's really difficult for us to determine what the cases are here in Pennsylvania. Dr. Tufts says none of this should discourage anyone from heading out into the wilds of Pennsylvania. Just take care to do the following. If you're outside, do your tick checks as soon as you, you know, get done with your hike. Even if you go out to like do some gardening in your backyard, come in and check for ticks. Ross Gadotti. KDKA TV News.